All right, so in this lecture, we're going to be talking about conditional statements. First of all, what is a condition? Think about it like this. So, for example, let's say you're thinking of creating a Facebook account. Most of you by now must have a Facebook account, but if you're still a kid like me, I still have one, but if you're less than 13, you're not supposed to. So let's think about the condition that goes in creating a Facebook account. What happens? Well, the condition is, hey, if you're older than 13 years of age, you're allowed to have a Facebook account, else you're not. So these if and else conditions come into play over here. Every conditional statement will have an if or an else. If the specific condition is true, do blah. Else, do blah. So we always check if the condition is true or false. If it's true, we do something. If it's false, we do something else. Let's go ahead and create a very simple if and else statement. So the way it works, if, right? We write if and then we write our condition. If five is greater than two, all right? And we know it is obviously. Then after the condition, we put a colon and now we write our statement. statement. So let's say if five is greater than two, I want to print out my name is Bob. Okay, something, it can be anything you want. All right. So as you can see, if five is greater than two, we printed out my name is Bob and that's exactly what we got. Five is greater than two. Now let's bring this back one more step. So if five is greater than two, print Bob. What if it's not? Else, what do we want? Well, let's think about um, if five isn't greater than two, then let's say um, print the earth has collapsed, all right? So obviously, now if you think about it, five will always be greater than two. So this else statement will never be run. Conditional statements always work on the true and false capabilities, right? If this is true, only the next statement will get printed, else will be completely forgotten. This will not even be considered. However, if this five greater than two or this condition is false, then we go straight to else and see what the print statement is. All right, now let's go ahead and execute the else statement. If two is greater than five, all right, print my name is Bob, else print the earth has collapsed. The earth has collapsed, fantastic. So this is a very simple if and else statement, okay? This is where we're checking if a condition is true. If it is, we're printing out my name is Bob. Otherwise, if the condition is false, we're printing out the earth has collapsed. All right. So fantastic job. Basically, this is just a quick introduction into conditional statements. In the following two or three lectures, we're going to talk about logical operators. All right. Relational operators. And then we'll delve deeper into nested if or else statements. See you in the next lecture.